We are very excited to announce Dominion 3.3, which is the newest uh, rollout. Um, I've got my hands here on a pre-release beta version, which I've been test driving, and I have to say that I'm very impressed with the new features. First and foremost uh, that I want to demonstrate to you guys here is the duplicate file finder. Now let me open a folder in my Windows Explorer and just create a couple of duplicate files and add them to the catalog. Now we all know what a pain in the neck duplicate files are and especially finding them and eliminating them from large catalogs is a mammoth undertaking. So I'm very excited about this feature. At a glance you'll see now when the new four files have been imported Dominion will automatically indicate the duplicates and when I click on the duplicates it gives me a side-by-side -side listing of these files and the matching duplicates so I can go and examine them and then from there I can actually select my duplicates and remove them from the catalog straight from within Dominion. Now that's a great time saver for me. As you can see here I've got three different um, catalogs open and I'm going to use an empty standalone catalog and I'm going to add some custom tags in there. So let's create a text tag for watermarks. Let's create standard. Great, so you see now I've got my watermarks group over here. That's great. Okay, so I'm going to go over now to my test catalog over here. And as you guys can see, there's no there's no custom anything in here except for the publishing tags, publishing services. And what I am going to do is I'm going to import custom tags from the standalone catalog. So I select that and it says listed below are the tags that will be imported and that's watermarks. I click OK, close and then on my custom tags here you will see I have got watermarks to select. By far the feature that excites me the most about Dominion 3.3 release is the ability to lock tags from editing. As you can see on my user panel here, I have got three different roles and I've got an editor user, an administrator and a guest viewing account. Okay, so what I'm going to do within my Dominion catalog menu is I'm going to lock tag editing. Okay, and I'm going to add my keywords, I'm going to add my categories, I'm going to add my subject codes, my genre, and scene. And I'm going to lock these for editing now. So now when I log out of this catalog as administrator and log back in as an editor, you'll notice that I can't move or change or do anything with these tags. So you see I can't drag them onto other tags by mistake. I can't rename them. I can't delete them. And I think for us as administrators it's a great sigh of relief and peace of mind. Right, for those of us who work regularly with stock images you're going to love the new expiry date. Um, that you can set on your images. Um, just ensure firstly that you've got on your system group at the bottom here that you've got your license expiration date um, checked and then if you scroll down right through to the bottom of your system tag you'll see that you can now set it. So let's set this for a date in the past and the first thing you'll notice immediately is the overlay that shows you that the license has expired on these. So this affects, uh, this affects your documents, for example, if you're trying to um, use them in a publishing or, or any, any form of export out of Dominion. So let's try and copy these.
and just get them right onto the desktop. And you see it only exports the one that we have licensed. This prevents you from having your images, uh, you know, incurring hefty penalties because having your images online, um, you know, violates the license that you bought from the photographer or the stockhouse. If you have distributed your images to uh, to various clients, you can always use this experimental feature to to find your image and to ensure that people obey the terms of your license. You can see if it's published or out there anywhere on the internet by using a handy built-in feature. So, you know, it gives you a report. Another great feature in Dominion 3.3 is the ability to assign synonyms and tag groups. Um, so for example, here I've got some images of seagulls and there's a couple more towards the end here. Let me just select all of them. Again, I'm going to tag these images with seagull and now I'm going to assign a couple of synonyms. So, all the words that are the same as um, seagull, for example, um, seabird and bird, I can add in here as synonyms and then use them during my searches. So, say for example, now I search for bird, you'll notice that all of these are also listed in my search results. When working with long lists of tags, it always makes sense to group them together in hierarchies that are nested in organizational units. For example, images um, you'll find in your media format are grouped um, logically by type now, and you can also create subgroups in there. However, bear in mind that you can only create a root subgroup. So you'll find that your image, your, your media format and your camera model will now be grouped by um, logical groups like the camera maker in this instance. And you'll also find it very handy in your, in your long, list of, uh, long lists of keywords to add groups onto them. Just bear in mind that the, the groups are not synchronized um, back to your, your images during metadata synchronization. Um, and, and you can only add them in certain groups. They're not supported in groups like the folders group, saved searches, creation, date and time, place flag, color label or rating. Those are just single, single level tags. The item comparison feature in Dominion has improved 200% in my opinion. Today I'm going to look for my best seagull image and I'm going to select just a couple of my favorites and compare them. So I'll use item, compare items, and Dominion opens up a grid for you to view them from. You can switch the grid on and off and view uh, the, your images individually by using your function keys or by viewing them as a grid. And then you can select your master image, which is most probably going to be this one for me. And then that switches over to the master and you can see the images are numbered as well on the form strip below. So the guys over here show me the best candidates, you know, so I've got to, I can, I can actually take them from here and even zoom in a little bit closer on the detail to see which is the, the one that is going to give me the best results. So for the time being, I am going to eliminate, let me just see the adjacent images to number two. So candidate number two, I actually want to just scroll through the images and see if I can maybe select another candidate there and compare these two. So you see it's very versatile and powerful in the scope that it gives you for selecting your your best image. I can also just give these a rating while I add it. That's going to be a three star, three star. This one is not one of my favorites. And then that is going to be my five star candidate. This one I'm going to reject. 
I'm going to approve that one. Large images in Dominion are now displayed up to five times faster in full screen mode. Uh, your small thumbnails are cached on the server side and then locally. And this improves on the Dominion inf uh, performance overall. Um, you, you'll also find that large TIFF files um, are being processed by a new image library. It uses less memory and uh, even large 100 megapixel files will render almost instantly. Uh, as you can see, I'm viewing my high-res images here and the render time is is, is negligible. It, it really is quite instant. So I am very excited about uh, the new release. Please check in on the forums and the home page and be one of the first people to install and test drive this software. Thanks for watching.